Hello there, YouTubers, and welcome to another video about flea market finds. Let's start with vinyl. I got Shinnet O'Connor with uh, nothing compares to you. Hot chocolate, everyone's a winner. Boston, this uh, album uh, includes the song More Than a Feeling, which uh, I really like. Turbo, whatever that is, I just bought it out of curiosity. <laughs> I've never heard of that group, but the records were quite cheap. China Crisis, Working with Fire and Steel, Possible Pop Songs, Volume 2. Another album I bought out of curiosity. It uh, contains the song called Wishful Thinking, which I think I've heard before. Here we have Sky 2. John Williams, Herbie Flowers, Kevin Peake, Tristan Fry, Francis Monkman. have no idea what that is. <laughs> and then from Germany, UKW, uh, with uh, their album. Uh, it contains uh, the song called Sommersprossen, which was a big hit back in the days, late 70s that was, I think, or early 80s. So, there we have vinyl. Now, I also got something else, something really interesting, so let's take a look at that. Ta-da! This is a Hitachi Denshi. Yep, back then they called themselves Hitachi Denshi. Color camera, which is a huge thing, as you can probably see. It's incredibly heavy. So, uh, oh, I'm gonna put it right there. Hope I don't break it so that uh, we can see it. Um, I got this... Um, at, um, well, it was sold by, um, not by the original owner. Uh, the original owner died, they told me, and uh, so the sellers were uh, his daughters, or well, rather his granddaughters, I think. Um, bit of a problem with this camera, I have no idea if it's still working. Um, so far I was not able to get it to work. Um, Chances are, unfortunately, chances are pretty high that the the picture tube in there is ruined, because um, you can take off the the lens, the lens system, and um, well, that's what they had done, and the camera, which was just sitting there in a way that, uh, well, it is possible that the sun was shining straight into the tube for quite some time, so. It might be not working anymore, but uh, we'll find about that. We'll find out about that in another video. Here we have the power supply that uh, comes along with the camera. As you can see, um, has uh, video outputs and also inputs on the back right there. This is where it connects to the camera. I'm not going to pull out the cable because the DIN jack there is uh, broken. And uh, that's uh, power, mains power and a remote connection for the VCR. Now, why does it have a VCR input? Well, as you can see, they marked it return input. Now, that is because this particular version of this camera, and there were two versions, this one is the deluxe ver version with an electronic viewfinder. And if you had your VCR hooked up uh, to the return inputs, you could watch the picture uh, on the viewfinder, and you didn't have to use a separate television to monitor what you had recorded. Um, I also got the manual, the English manual, and uh, the German manual, and a 
little sheet of paper telling you how to fabricate an adapter cord to hook this up to a portable VCR, you know, using the uh, special camera jack. And that is what the previous owners have done. Uh, as you can see, this is the standard VCR camera plug, if the camera can focus on this. There we go. And uh, on the other end, we have the plug that plugs into the camera on the bottom. And uh, there is another output right there for some reason. I don't know what that is for. Um, now, they also had the portable VCR uh, standing there that uh, went along with the camera. Um, it wasn't a Hitachi, it was a Universum brand uh, unit. And it wasn't a, v uh, a VHS, it also wasn't a Betamax, no, it was another unknown system called CVC, uh, with cassettes about as big as, um, as an audio cassette, a usual one, and um, uh, it had, I think it had a playing time of about 30 minutes, I once read an article in an old newspaper about that system. Um, I didn't get the VCR, um, even though they, well, they also had the power supply and stuff, but I didn't get it because um, it was quite expensive, um, and uh, they didn't have any cassettes and stuff, so, well, first I would have had to run and find some CVC cassettes, and then, of course, uh, the VCR... Um, would have needed repairs and stuff, so I said, no, I'm not going to get that. I'm going to get the camera only. Uh, and then, last but not least, I also got this uh, microphone with a DIN jack. have to see if it will work. If it does, it's nice. If it doesn't, I'm going to open this up and um, replace the dynamic microphone inside of there. Uh, there is a dynamic mic inside, as you can possibly see. There we go. It's a dynamic mic down there underneath the foam. But um, I am, if it doesn't work, I'm going to replace that with a little condenser microphone and, you know, modify this. So, there you have it. Another video about flea market finds. I may make another video tomorrow, because tomorrow is another big flea market. Maybe I can find some more. And, uh, well, now I'm going to try to get this color video camera to work. It must be from the mid-70s. It contains a Seticon tube. Um, and I'm going to leave you with a nice shot of the Hitachi logo. So, hope you enjoyed this video and see you again soon.